All right, boys and girls, guess what? I've always wanted to do this. This is take one, Miss McKenzie's virtual first grade. You can see this. It's called a clapper board. All right, so this is day um, 18 of our virtual first grade. So first thing we're gonna do is look at our dictation words today. And we've been talking about uh, the soft C and the soft G sound. So remember that the soft C makes the S sound. And we said that usually you're going to see the letter either I or E after the C if it's making the soft sound, the S sound, okay? And the same thing goes for the G. The soft G says a J sound, it says J instead of G is its hard sound, okay? So, your marker here. So the first thing on the list, we have words that have A-C-E, ace. And ace is a word all by itself, but if I added L, then it's la la lace, right? Or if I added an F, and it's face, right? And then if we put a C on age, it becomes cage. And ice, if I put M, then it becomes mice, which is a plural for mouse. So you don't say mouses, you say mice. Then last week we talked about oi. The O I or the O Y saying oi. This word is annoy. That means if somebody's bothering you, this one enjoy. So if you really like something, you enjoy it. Okay, so those are your four words lace, face, cage, and mice. So if you've got your paper and pencil ready to do your dictation sentences, then we'll be ready to go with that. You can use your journal, remember, to write and practice. Okay, so the first sentence today is, look at the right page. That sounds like a direction I would give you. Look at the right page. Look at the right page. Right is a memory word from last week and a spelling word for this week, like my right hand, this is my right hand, and page, that word has the soft G, okay? So if I hold up my thing, you can see it. Look at the right page. Okay, the second sentence is point to the mice in a cage. Point to the mice in a cage. So point has that oi sound in it. I'm going to have an oi because it's in the middle. Point to the mice in a cage. And cage has the soft G and mice has the soft C. Mice. So the last one, hold it up again. Point to the mice in a cage. All right, so that's dictation for today. All right, so something else we're going to talk about before we do our Super Kid page is ABC order. And I bet you remember ABC order, right? Or alphabetical order is a different way to say it. So every Friday to practice our spelling words, we used to write our spelling words in A, B, C order. And that just means that you're putting the words in the order of the alphabet, right? So if you say the alphabet and you know how that goes, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. So those are the word, the letters of the alphabet and the words in ABC order go in that same order. So you might think, well, why do you need to put words in ABC order? 
also one reason is the dictionary and you probably don't use a dictionary very much yet but when you're older you will but a dictionary is a book full of words and their meanings and they're put in ABC order so if you want to look up the word anteater you look at the beginning of the book in the A's if you want to look up the word zoology it starts with a Z so you would look at the very end of the book in the Z's right and everything else but comes between A and Z right so I'm gonna show you some words they're fruit or vegetable words okay so we've got dragon fruit that's the only one I can think of for D carrot apple and but oh, wrong one where are you banana okay so of these words these four words that I have if I can hold them all out which one do you think would be first in ABC order carrot banana dragon fruit apple we would go with apple right because it starts with a so it's the first in ABC order okay so I'll put it first Right, so after apple, what do you think comes next? Here's my words. Which one would be next in the alphabet? Dragon fruit, carrot, or banana? It would be banana, right? Because it starts with B. Right next in the alphabet. All right, well, there we go. Carrot or dragon fruit? A, B, C, right? So carrot. And then the last one would be D for dragon fruit. So that was easy because the words all started with A, B, C, D. So a lot of times when you're given the job of putting words in A, B, C order, they're not always going to be A, B, C, D going to be other letters of the alphabet so this was just an easy way to start okay so in your super kid book today we're going to be putting words in ABC order so if you look in your super kid book on page 99 that's our job for today is to put those words in ABC order all right so if you will look at the first box they give us four words and the first letter of each word is pink. So it makes it a little easier to see the very first letter because it's a different color. So we have cat, ant, giraffe, and dog. So what do you think would be first in that list if you're putting them in ABC order? If you say ant, that's right because it starts with A. So ant is first and next would be can go through the alphabet and see if, if there's a B word. Is there one? I don't see one. They keep going A, B, C. Do you see a C word? I do. Cat. So that's second. Okay, so we skipped a letter. We skipped B. The third word, A, B, C, D. Is there a D word? Dog, right? And then keep going A, B, C, D. E, there's no E, F, G, I see giraffe, and it's got G, okay? So that's our first box, All right? The second box, we have new words, and none of them begin with the letter A, so we're going further down into the alphabet, aren't we, this time? But not too far because our words are rat, fly, zebra, and bird. So of those four words, which one do you think would be first in the list? If you're thinking about the alphabet, which one would be first? If you guessed bird, then you got it. Bird is first. 
There was no A, but there was a B word, bird. So you just keep on going down, down, down through the alphabet. A, B, C, no, E, A, B, C, D, E, F. I see F, fly. Bird, fly. All right, so keep going past F. E, F, G, mm -mm. H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R. I see one, R, rat. All right, and then for the fourth one, I keep going after R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z, Z for zebra. Okay, so those two are pretty easy. So the next box, the third box, this time, if you look carefully at that list, all the words begin with the same letter, don't they? They all start with A. They have age, arm, axe, and add. So this time, we're not looking at the first letter, you're looking at the second letter. And we used to have to do that when we were putting our spelling words in ABC order. Sometimes when you have more than one word that starts with the letter, you have to look at the second letter of the word. And sometimes you even have to go to the third letter or the fourth letter. So of this list, age, arm, axe, add, we're looking at the second letter and it's pink. So that makes it easier. So what do you think? Which one's first? We're thinking about alphabet, right? The order of the alphabet. So how about add, A-D-D? -D. That's the one I would pick. Right after add, what would be next? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, age. Age is next. All right, then we keep going. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, arm. And then after that, S, T, U, V, W, X, X. So that one was a little trickier, but not really. Not if you think carefully about it. So we're just looking at the second letter that time. All right, and the next box, the fourth box, is the same way. This time, all of the words begin with C. So we're having to look at the second letter. So if you're thinking about going through the alphabet, you'd start with A. So is there an A? C A? I see one. It's card. And after that, you keep going through the alphabet A, B, C, D, E. C and E, C E, scent. Okay, and then keep going. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, city, C, I, C, I, T, Y, city, and then uh, I, J, K, L, M, N, O. O is last in this one, so it's coin. So in those four words, we also can see the hard C and the soft C sound, if you notice that. So the first one, city, is that hard or soft? City, it had a S, so it's soft. How about c, -c card It has a hard sound of K, doesn't it? Scent is soft, it's an S sound, and the last one's coin. And it has that hard sound, the sound that says k, k, like a K. So, remember I told you the little trick was that the K comes before the I or the E, and the C comes before the other three? And that's if you're trying to figure out K or C. So, in these, it's the opposite, right? So, the hard sound of C, the K sound, is usually going to be followed by an A or an O, but the soft sounds followed by E or I. Just a little trick. Okay, so that's the only page today for Super Kids. So the 
job after this is for you on your own to go back and look at the reader and read the lost knit again we read it yesterday so if we were at school we would read it with the computer and read it to ourselves right so you could read it uh, to one of your stuffed animals or your dog or a cat just to have some practice reading it out loud or you could play school and you could pretend to call on people and they could have to read the story all right so the lasting lesson from this story is called taking responsibility so in the story if you remember Edabetta lost Fritz's mitt. She got so excited after winning the ball game that she left his mitt that she borrowed at the ballpark. And she didn't realize it until she went to bed that night. And then she thought, oh no, I have left my friend's mitt. And so the next day she got up and went and tried to get jobs so that she could earn money to buy him a new one, which she did. But then when she went to give it to him, he was like, not my mitt. I've already got my mitt. So she got to keep it, remember? So if you're taking responsibility, that means that if you make a mistake, then you try your best to fix it. That's what taking responsibility means. Do you think that's a good idea? I do. I think it's good to take responsibility if you've made a mistake. What's one way you could start to fix a mistake? Something you could say is, I'm sorry. Right? You say, I'm sorry when you make a mistake. So let's think about some things that could happen and what you might do. What if you accidentally spill some red juice on the carpet, like a white carpet, red juice on white carpet? somebody's gonna be mad about that right so do you try to cover it up with um, a chair and run away and hide or do you try to clean it up yourself or do you go and tell your mom or dad hey guess what I made a mistake right okay so those are some things you can think about for taking responsibility all right, something else to think about, um, and we've talked about these words before too, is something called onomatopoeia. Remember that? That's a funny sounding word, isn't it? Onomatopoeia words are words that make sounds. So in the story, like if you hit the ball with a bat, it says whack. That's an onomatopoeia word. So some other ones are tweet, peep, quack, gobble, squawk, howl, growl, crunch, jingle, chime, buzz, splash, hiss, crackle, crack, thud. All of those, when you hear them, they make you think about a sound, don't they? So that's what onomatopoeia is. All right, so that's all the lesson for today in Super Kids. So we should have a little bit of time. So I'm gonna read you a story. Uh, we've read about pig. Before. This one's called Pig the Tourist. So there he is. There's Pig the Tourist. Pig is not a pig. He's a, a dog called a pug, right? Pig was a pug, and I'm sorry to say, when he went on vacation, he caused great dismay. You could make careful plans to ensure happy travel, but Pig would destroy them. He'd make them unravel. With behavior so bad, it is hard to describe. He would dampen your trip. He'd ruin the vibe. He'd break all the rules and he'd flaunt all tradition. Causing disaster was Pig's big ambition. Even in places of wild celebration, he somehow create absolute devastation. And if he could shatter some ancient taboo, he wouldn't think twice that appalling Yahoo. Part 1 
parties, parades, and processions got wrecked in a blizzard of chaos and foul disrespect. His insensitive antics would ruin your stay till the locals would gather and shout, Go away! But that wouldn't stop him. He'd rock. He'd roll. Till his rollicking horseplay. So the headline of the paper says, Mona Lisa attacked. Tower of Pisa destroyed. Spun out of control. This is on the news. Nine news. Chaos at the palace. Queen shaken, not stirred. Unbridled and vast was his need to offend, but every wild party must come to an end. Yes, if you treat locals with little regard, they'll come back to bite you. Uh -oh. And boy, they bite hard. He didn't pay the, the attention to the sign that said danger piranha in the water. These days it's different. I'm happy to say he's learned not to ruin a whole holiday. But let us be honest, the truth I must tell, although he might try. Well, pig does not travel well. And I'll let you look carefully at that picture. Ew. Ew. Looks kind of gross, huh? All right, boys and girls, that's all for today. And... I'll see you again on YouTube tomorrow. Bye.